Welcome back to the channel. Uh, here's what I've been working on lately. A new wind turbine. This one here uses PVC blades and I'm using the smart drive motor that I got out of a washing machine. Of course it is rewired. Uh, if you watch some of my previous wind turbine videos you'll see how you do that. So this is the pipe I got to make the new windmill blades. It is ten and a half inches round by about six foot long. I'm going to cut it down into five equal sections. I already have one done. Uh, once I get the rest of them cut, then I will make a template for the shape of the new blades. And once I get to that point, then I will show you guys that. Here are the blades after they were cut out. Five foot nine inches long from tip to tip. These blades here haven't been shaped, but the ones that are on the turbine now, I have shaped them. And after this clip here, I'll show you a video of what they look like. But this here is the blade after it's been cut out. You'll see they're quite flimsy, uh, but I had a plan for that in mind, and I'll take you back to the turbine and show you what I did so they don't flex and hit the pole or break. The test pole, about 18 foot in the air. The smart drive uh, motor which I've turned into a generator mounted on top. The shaft comes out and I work for a heating and air conditioning company so I found this hub that was for six blades uh, that I was able to fit some steel pipe into that I was able to attach the blades to. And because the blades were flexible, you can see there I put some stands off of the metal pipes that the blades are supported on. And then I ran some steel rope, wire rope, out to some tie-offs about a little more than three quarters of the way on the blades and then I got some uh, some binders there and, uh, I them up. and for now it seems to be working quite good I have it on the test pole to uh, see how it reacts and see what it's going to do all said and done once it's put together uh, we got a swept diameter of about 10 foot so this is pretty big for a homemade wind turbine out of PVC now that I have the Accurite weather center, I can get some wind speeds. And if you watched some of my previous videos, I did one on this where I uh, added some solar panels and some rechargeable, rechargeable batteries. And that was done in the early part of winter, and I have not had to recharge this thing yet. So it's doing pretty good. Alright, let's go check out some uh, amps and voltages. So here's the uh, weather center. We've got a wind speed right now of about 6 and in the last 40 minutes we've had a peak of 10 miles an hour and at that 10 mile an hour peak we hit 4.58 amps so that puts us right at about 60 watts there. Three phase AC comes into a bridge rectifier and I have a couple batteries in here that I've been charging with it. Cut in wind speed for charging on this turbine seems to be right around 8 miles an hour. It's when we actually start charging the battery and we reach the voltage that the battery is at and we begin putting current into the battery. All in all, I'm pretty happy thus far. i got a few more things to do. Uh, the blades are 95% balanced. Uh, they're out just a hair. Uh, I want to get that a little bit better before I put it up on the 40-foot uh, tower post a, uh, another vid, a little update of this once I get some better winds. We're supposed to have some 15 to 20 mile an hour winds tomorrow. And I'll take some recordings of that and post an update. 
Now that the wind has slowed down enough, you can see how I use the turnbuckles there. And they will go out to an eye hook that I had put on the end. And then I set it on a level surface and put each blade tip approximately three inches off of the ground. Here you can see the angle of attack on the blade and how I shaped it. Here it finally stopped. See how when it comes down, it's shaped just like an airplane wing. And the curvature of the PVC blade makes a really nice line for the wind to hit as it comes down. I use some washers, some eye hooks there, and three 16th or 16th inch cable, wire rope, and 16th inch ferrules. That's what you use to connect them. And then up there, some turnbuckles. You see on each arm, you can see some metal welded on there. That is what I had to use to balance it. I just kept adding it and adding it. I actually had a little plastic ball that I set the whole hub assembly on and that was perfect for me to be able to balance it. All said and done, we have a 10-foot homemade wind turbine. Everything here was sourced for free, except for the wire rope and the turnbuckles. Uh, the other thing is the bridge rectifier. I got that off of eBay, relatively cheap. So, all said and done, I'm probably around $40 for everything I've put into this so far. Uh, next, I have two 21 foot by two inch steel pipes. Uh, this is just some stuff I had laying around that I used for a test pole here. And that'll give me a 42 foot tower. And then I'm going to get a trailer axle hub assembly. So it's not uh, just the slip fitting I have now, just the larger pipe on top of the smaller one. And that'll give it a lot more stability and a lot more free movement to catch the wind. Thanks for watching guys, Backroom Labs, we'll catch you next time. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe.